the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of attack on titan now before i get into this reaction make sure y'all look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i have the full reaction full version of this reaction on there so if you're interested click on that also my discord come on in and join our little community you know what i'm saying also friday saturday sundays at 12 p.m pst on this youtube channel right here I live stream. I play games all day. Um, so come on in. Super chill, uh, fun vibes, and come say hi in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very laid back. Very laid back. Um, anyway, so last episode of Attack on Titan, it was focused on Gabby and Falco. And um, pretty much Gabby's wildin', right? She is wildin', right? I was very scared um, when she met up with freaking Sasha's family that she was going to murder her family too. That would have definitely made me hate Gabby, right? Um, of course, we're biased. We know Sasha, right? But also, Sasha did kill some of Gabby's people. So, Gabby is right in that sense. She's a little bit wild, though. She's, a bit, she's acting a bit crazy, right? Even though she sees how innocent Sasha's family was, um, she's still, like, in the back of her mind, like, okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this fork to stab him. I'm going to use this spoon to rip his eyes out, like, you know what I'm saying? So that those thoughts are definitely going rushing through her head. Um, but what I did really like about the episode was um, remember that little girl season two that Sasha saved? Um, yeah, that little girl was there, too. And the way she was explaining it, like that was the whole episode of when Sasha saved her. Her mother was being eaten by that freaking, you know, that Titan that looked like a freaking was the closest titan to a human size that we've seen so far in the show i think if i remember correctly and sasha grabbed that fucking axe and saved that little girl you know what i'm saying that did happen that did happen so i did like how they made that connection it was very very cool attack on titan is very does those kind of connections very smooth like very slick so i like that um and yeah you know i think falco falco gets it falco already knows that I think he already senses that, you know, us here at Paradise, the demons, we were fucking people too. We are the exact same. We know this is watching it, but their, their perspectives are different. They're coming from different worlds. I think Falco already gets it, um, but this could be the beginning of Gabby also getting it. Like, you know, her goal is to kill all these people, but why though? You know, the only people that are killing her people um aren't are the scouts uh which is aaron mikasa right if anything gabby should be mad at them and going after them and she did kill sasha so i guess i guess she, i guess she fucking did that so she already got her revenge fuck's sake <laughs> but um most of paradise are just regular ass people farmers gatherers cookers you know cleaners like you know what i mean um so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's your classic case of guilty by association, which is, you know, what we're doing as well, to be honest. Um, but that still doesn't explain why Aaron was punching innocent people to the ground, fucking smushing them. It doesn't explain that, but you know, maybe something else will explain it because I, I, I'm still confused about that, right? Um, so yeah, uh, maybe this is the beginning of Gabby understanding that could be, maybe not. It seems she's already set in her ways, but that little argument that she had with the girl that Sasha saved um, may work. It may work. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, very interesting. I was frightened the whole time because I thought Gabby was going to fucking grab that pitchfork and stab everyone in that freaking house. And then Gabby would have been one of the most hated characters of all time if she did that to Sasha and Sasha's family. But she didn't. Then again, though, it's just still too early to tell because she's still doing chores, hanging out with them. Um, but Gabby must feel less inclined to do so now, now that she knows that the whole perspective thing, you know what I'm saying? So, and that, and, and that's what the season has been, has been about perspective. Like from, our, from, from paradise perspective, they're the assholes from Marley's perspective. We're the assholes. <laughs> so who really knows? Honestly, the most asshole person that I've seen in the show this season is Aaron. Why is he being, he, well, he's not an asshole, but he's just so much different. Than what we remember him right he's so much different and i mean the only thing that could explain that is the conversation the first conversation that him and zeke had one-on-one -on -one. that's the only thing that i could imagine so maybe they'll show that conversation eventually maybe not but yeah anyway so that's where we are in the current attack on titan um 
story. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 12. Like and subscribe. <clears throat> Has Armin always liked Annie like that? I thought it was Reiner that liked Annie. Oh wait, no. Reiner likes Historia. Oh, I didn't even know that. Shit. Oh, it's Hitch. Damn. We know how her man died. Fucking a rock to his eye. That was fucking brutal. Oh, <sighs> What? See, man, Yelena's crazy. I don't. I, I, I'll say it again. I don't trust that bitch. <laughs>。今我々が目にしているものが何か大分かりですか。我々は歴史が変わる瞬間に立ち会っているのです。二人の兄弟によって世界は生まれ変わります。Look at her face, bro. わしもそう信じたい。エレンと交わした会話のすべてをお聞かせ願おう。うまい嘘のつき方を知っとるか。時より事実を混ぜて喋ることじゃ。Very true. Very true. The best lies are sprinkled with a little bit of truth in them to make them believable. 俺たちもそれが周りに奪われた祖国のためだと信じることで乗り切ったんです。変だ。彼女は平成期に反発してまで周り兵の人権を譲らなかった。そこまで周り人に容赦のなかった家でなが、この島では。Yeah, I mean, yeah, bro. Like, we gotta figure out what the fuck's going on. You know what I'm saying? There's no way Zeke was just so cooperative out of nowhere. We gotta figure out what the hell's going on. 彼が単独で過ごした周りでの時間についても依然として空白のまま。Damn. Something fucking happened. You think? Is he though? I don't get that I, I don't get that vibe. I don't get the vibe that Aaron's getting manipulated. You know? The Aaron we saw at the end of season three didn't like didn't seem like the kind of person to be manipulated. He seemed dead inside. <laughs> Honestly. So I don't know. What a mystery. I'm like going through so many simulations and stuff in my head to, to figure out what the fuck happened. But we're only really going to know once Aaron opens his mouth. Oh! Is Mikasa and Armin okay? Oh my god. Bro, something is not right. There is a Marleyan amongst the mitts that is fucking shit up. And they're probably related to Yelena. Just saying. That's big. That's the fucking commander, bro. That's big. <laughs> エレンの情報を外に漏らして懲罰を受けた者どもがいると聞いたが、まさか。地球地帯です。エレンイエガが力を絡んだ奏しました。シェット、エレン。何が起こる。ノーファッキングウェイ。エレン、what no, no, no. Aaron's involved with fucking blowing Zachary up? No way, man. Oh, no. Oh, 
That's the trailer right there. This is becoming hard. This is becoming hard to, you know, believe in Aaron. Fuck. That's fucked up, man. Wow. They're really testing us this season, aren't they? <laughs> oh my god. どう責任を取るつもりだ。判事団長。いくらでも処分は受ける。しかし今私が兵団を退くことより無責任なことはない。それに家側はまだどの兵団にどれだけ潜んでいるかわからないだろ。そうだ。Damn, ジノラシの実験を見守り、これにエルディアの存続を委ねる。ただし、我々の親玉を殺された剣を、ここに不問とする。これで数百、数千の同士が殺し合わずに済むのなら。いや。安かろ。Yeah. Damn. That's a hell of a speech. And true. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm in shock, man. Like, because the words that I want to say, I don't know if I want to say it, but I'm saying it anyway. Why is Aaron being a bad guy right now? He's a bad guy right now. He was involved with killing the premier, Zachary. For what? He didn't pay his respects to Sasha. He freaking damn near laughed when they told when they, they said she died. He was pummeling innocent people, innocent Marleans, kids, women, well, old people including, to the ground. What is he doing, man? It's not to piss me off. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ただ、ミカサ様の母君が残された一族の誇りまで失ったわけではございません。この国がどうだろうと、あなた様だけはお守りいたします。Mask cap. They're only there to fucking get some clout and some money. <laughs> Freaking Azuma Bitos or Hirozu or whatever the fuck. 今日はうんとくときなさいよ。Dabby and Falco. This music. Love it. Hype. Suspense. <gasps> Piek, the cart titan. They're already here? Okay. Let's think a little bit. So there's multiple things going on here. I don't think Piek and Marley are... were involved with the bombing. Right? I think, well, that was, I was obviously, Flock said it himself. It was definitely Flock. I don't think Piek and them are involved with that. They're on their own plan. They're on the fucking Reiner wants all the smoke plan, right? So that's exciting. So that means Reiner and freaking the Jaw Titan are also here too. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit. And you know what's an interesting fact? They showed Annie in the beginning of this episode here. And now we know the only way to break Annie out is, I believe, the Jaw Titan. His claws and his jaw are strong enough to break the crystallization of the Titans. So far, that's the only thing that, that, we, that we've seen that's been able to do that. So, hey, Marley can one up here. They can find Annie, break her out, and now they have the female Titan on their side again. Hmm, that'll make the size a little bit more even, for sure. But then again, what sides? Man, it's hard for me to think this way. But I think I mean this kind of kind of confirms it. Aaron is being a bad guy, man. <laughs> like what the fuck happened? I do think how it's very interesting how he's obviously the protagonist. He's been the protagonist for so long, but now he is also the antagonist. That's kind of crazy. How are you able to do that? <laughs> that's that's pretty fucking amazing if you ask me. As as mad as I am that I want to see him, you know, make the world a better place and whatever whatever the fuck. 
that's pretty amazing how he's also he's the protagonist and the antagonist at the same time i haven't seen that before maybe hunter x hunter when gone went crazy spoilers by the way but that's it that's kind of brilliant if you ask me all right cool well there's that um then i want to know what the fuck happened when did the when did the switch flip for aaron man before he went to Marley, he was literally talking about how he loves the crew. And now he now he's on some other other shit. Total 180 of a fucking person. Um he does I think I sense guiltiness in his, in his eyes and his demeanor. You know, the reason why he looks so dead inside all the time is because he knows what he's doing is fucked up. But it is for the greater good. You know, but it's hard for me to keep thinking that when you freaking blow up Premier Zachary. For what, man? What the hell did he do? Why him? And he almost got freaking Mikasa. Imagine that bomb going off 10 seconds earlier. Mikasa and Armin are dead. Not then I definitely wouldn't be able to forgive Aaron. I really want to believe what he's doing is right and that he has a plan. You know, with with the Founding Titan, with the Attack Titan, with the Warhammer, he's got everything. But when he does shit like this, not even paying respects to Sasha, laughing that she died, like what is wrong with him? Pummeling innocent Marleans to the ground when they're not fighting back over and over and over again? It's hard for me to keep believing in him. I do though. A little, well... It's it's getting less, you know. As these episodes keep going, my belief in Aaron is is lessening. That's for sure. But I still do. I think what he's doing, he knows it's fucked up, but he has to do it to fucking get the result that he wants. I really, I want to believe that, and I still do for you know. But I don't even know what the what the either it's most or a little. I don't even know, but. I do believe he does, he's doing that, so. Um, all right, well, he's on his way to meet up with Zeke. We know Levi is looking after Zeke. And Levi, I mean, I don't know how fast they're able to get the information to Levi, but once Levi founds out what Aaron did, Levi said it himself, he'll murder the fuck out of Aaron. And if there's one person in the show that can probably handle someone like Aaron who has the Founding Titan, the Attack Titan, and the Warhammer, it's probably Levi. Levi can probably still whoop that ass. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many Titan powers Aaron has. Because that's just Levi. Ackerman. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn. Like, it's like, right now, I feel like we are Mikasa. Like, we're just in such in disbelief on what the fun on Aaron's behavior. It's wild. He is wildin'. For real. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I am super interested though, you know, and I know this, this show has a great way of uh, peaking our interest and, you know, coming full circle with like that Sasha thing last episode with the whole her saving the girl. Now she's here talking with Gabby, right? Attack on Titan is really good at, at making things full circle. You know, we're not supposed to understand it right now, which is fine. It's frustrating, but it's fine because eventually, hopefully we will. So, um, all right, cool, man. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that episode. Uh, the Jaegerists, I guess, have been formed. What the fuck? It's so messed up how they're calling them the Jaegerists. He's supposed to be the good guy. Oh my god. All right, well, definitely can't wait to watch next week's episode. Should be good. I, I feel it building, you know what I'm saying? And that was... R.I.P. Premier Zachary. He didn't get much screen time, but we did see him, and he definitely was somewhat pivotal, you know what I'm saying, in the previous seasons, so it is what it is, man. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Before I end this reaction, though, make sure y'all look at the links down below. You can find my Patreon, where I do have the full reaction of this episode and the other animes and TV shows that I'm watching, so go check that out if you're interested. Um, it has my Discord, you know what I'm saying, come on in and join a little community, you know what I'm saying. Also, Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST on this YouTube channel right here. I be live streaming, man. I be live streaming, playing games all day. Very fun, very chill, laid back vibe. So come on in during the weekends. Come say hi in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Cool time. Other than that, 
I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of Attack on Titan. All right, peace.